What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Magic 2020 draft on Magic the Gathering online. Not to be confused with MTG Arena. I think Howling Giant is pretty good. Bishop of Wings could be pretty good if we get the Angels for it. But Howling Giant is just bonkers good. This is busted. This is a nine, this is a nine power for seven mana, guys. And if this Leaf Kindred comes back, watch, there's going to be the Angel that gets plus two, plus two. It's going to be the 4-4 four, four Angel when you have 25 life. Calling it now. Ancestral Blade. <clears throat> when it enters the battlefield, create a one-one white soldier. So it's just a, uh, it's just Flare Husk. Good to know. I think it's actually Moldervine Reclamation. This card is fantastic when we had it last time, and maybe because we started on both of these, we can just keep it black green. Send an email with the info for tomorrow. If you join, it, definitely shoot me an. We'll do. We'll do. Got it. Got it. Temple of Malady <laughs> goes well in our green-black deck. Is that better than Ferocious Pup and or Amazing Agonizing Siphon or Wolfkin Bond? I think Pup is probably better than Siphon, maybe? It's a 2-2 two -two and an 0-1. Oh two bodies is great for Moldervine Reclamation. Agonizing Siphon's good. Deals with flyers, keeps you alive. I think we can probably wheel something else. We're going to take the Siphon. It's still Lightning Helix for two more mana, which I think is fine. What's up, Zaichi? Anything goes. You guys can tell what the last song that was playing on the break was by what I start singing in the video, so. Anything goes. This is a long. There are, I, I'm like, let me check my internet, make sure we're still, still live here. All right, we did it. Uh, not great. Jungle Hall is all right. I like three, three for three. That's probably, that's the rate we're looking for here. I'm great. I signed my contract today, so I have a job for. Yeah, nice, Zichi. Congrats, buddy. It's always nice to have gainful employment for. Uh, an agreed upon period of time. Well done, buddy. Well done. Oh, bone clad necromancer. I like all these cards that are more than one card in one. Especially with Moldervine Reclamation. It's not non token. Netcaster Spider, also very good. I think we're going to go with the Necromancer here. Another temple, huh? Sedge Scorpion seems good. Mammoth Spider, also very good. If we die to flyers and we didn't cast, we, didn't, we just passed two spiders, then. I mean. I'll be I'll be sad, but Silverback Shaman is good, but I feel like you actually have a glut of five mana cards. I kind of just want the two two here. Eh, actually, Centaur Corsair is probably better, right? It's a three three for three. I think we're gonna write about the Legacy deck tonight. We're going to call it Mono White Golos in Legacy so that people are like, so like, oh, this is crazy. Should pick up a couple lands so you can splash the Yarok you open in pack three. That's a solid. There were a bunch of uh, blue black lands going around, so. Jungle Hollows? No, that's got to be the black green land, right? Dismal Backwater, maybe? Am I just making up names? That's, that's got to be a name, right? You guys are like, yes, that is a name, but that is a different land. That was from uh, Kamigawa Block, and it was one of the uncommon lands from the cycle. And I'd be like, okay.
Oh, there, we get a Blood Burglar anyway. Blood Burglar anyway. I like that because it kind of sounds like goalie. It's almost like a shout out you didn't intend. Yeah, it's go yeah, it's mono white goalie in uh in Legacy. Basically the same thing. Um 7-7 seven, seven is actually pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna take the 7-7. Seven, seven. Ooh, bone splinters, gross cycle, wolf can bond. We're gonna take the bone splinters here. Oh, wolf can bond and jungle hollow. We're taking the wolf can bond for sure. I think. It's just plus two, plus two, huh? I don't think it's Jungle Hollow. I don't think it's a two-color deck. I don't think we're going to need a Jungle Hollow. Um, I also think they're coming out way too quickly, but, you know, that being said, it's still fine. I think, I think M20 is still good. Oh, Dismal Backwater. Nailed it. Eh, I'll take Diviner's Lockbox. Uh, the, the uncommon land from Comic Oblock is Watervale Cavern, obviously. God, I'm so dumb. I'm so sorry. I failed you. Disfigure's good. Overcome? Eh, it's kind of kind of do, I think. I think we just want the Disfigure. Which figure? Mm, disfigure. Also, Iron Root Warlord could be very, very good if we can splash a white. That's a strong splash. Uh, am I a Stranger Things fan? I am. I have not seen season three yet, though, so no spoilers, please. Um, also, with Moldervine Reclamation, that's a combo. Even if this guy, even if he's the only creature, it's still one five for three. That's very good. I think it's. I think it's probably worth trying. Hmm. Spoiler. It's great. Yeah, that was. Uh, that's not even a spoiler, buddy. Overgrowth Elemental. When enters the battlefield, put a one-one counter on another target elemental you control. Whenever another creature you control dies, you gain a life if that creature was an elemental. I don't think we have a single elemental in our deck. Oh, we have an elemental horror. Which is literally straight out of Resident Evil. And that's pretty much it. So, eh, I'll probably just take the Agonizing Siphon. Um... We don't have any legendary cards. It's still a 3 4 for 3. Yeah, it's not good enough. Audacious Thief is gas. We're going to take the Audacious Thief. Ideally, the Plummet Tables. That would be just fantastic. Oh, I like a Pulse of Marasa here. Yeah, we're definitely taking Pulse of Marasa here. That is main deckable, good folks. Omnath is now the most expensive card in the set. That's insane. Are elementals really doing that well? That's something right there. Uh, Center Corsair Gift of Gift of Paradise helps us play the Iron Root Warlord. I don't think we necessarily need a third Centaur Corsair. I'll just take the Gift of Paradise. Mike, thank you so much for the Twitch sub. I really appreciate the conversion. Thank you so much, dude. Dude, Sliver Underlord, you are killing it with these memes tonight, man. This is another meme courtesy of Sliver Underlord. Sliver Underlord. <laughs> is this Dismal Backwater? I don't know if these should be backwards. Shouldn't this be Dismal Backwater? Me say, is this Watervale Cavern? Either way, still gas. I like Blood Burglar because I want another 2-drop, but I also just like Mono Thieves. So I'm going to take the Thief. Uh, I think we're going to take a Plummet here for the side Bizzle. That's fantastic. I'm going to post all of these to, like, the Discord, so. Uh, 
Anything goes. We could definitely use some smaller drops than three. Although our deck is looking pretty sweet, so. I mean, that's what we always say, and then we end up losing to, to things. I would like a murder or two. If I can get as many murders as I have agonizing siphons, I'll be glad, but... Not the best two drop, that's for sure. Don't also also don't care about this four mana for that. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I'm gonna take it because it's a two drop, and I think we just need it. Plummet might be main deckable in this format for sure. I I agree with that. I'll take a force. Thank you. My renewal is coming up in a few days, so I figured I'd just pay for it. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, Mike. Thank you, thank you, dude. Welcome back, Blossoming Sands. Oh yes, that's a main deckable card with our Iron Root Warlord. Feral Invocation. That's that's really boring. I mean, we're gonna take it because there's nothing else. It's basically a plus two plus two. Wait, what is this? Oh, these are sweet. Do they have these in a high top? None of these cards are exciting. We are at the bottom of the barrel. Bob the Sheep convert with the sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Hey, guys. Uh, Gravedigger, I think I like more than Agonizing Siphon here. Uh, Gravedigger is just MVP in limited formats. So I'm going to take this Gravedigger. Another Moldervine Reclamation? Is that too many? Again, we've seen two Agonizing Siphons and no Murders, which is funny because they are both common. For all occasion, pretty good for you. Interesting. Interesting. I don't think we need a second one of these. <sighs> Boy, it's strong, though. All the other kids with the pump dump think you better run, better run. Pump, run my gun. Master Splicer also an option because we do slash the white here. But I think it's either this or Mammoth Spider here. Oh man, I gotta go. Good night. I was in the middle of making another meme. We'll have to. Oh dang, Sliver, that's so fast. Anyway, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it, buddy. You are awesome. I don't know what to take here. This pack's actually pretty tricky. It's either one of these three or this guy. I don't think it's this because we already have one. I don't think we need that third agonizing. I'd rather just have Mammoth Spider and hope we can get like one of the two drop uh, rampy boys. Loaming Shaman is not who we're looking for. Thrashing Brontodon's all right. I think I just want the Netcaster. Eh, maybe it is Brontodon. Yeah, this is a great main deck. Yeah, 3 4 is just huge. 3 4 is huge. Wow, Vampire of the Dire Moon is great. I'll take that. Yeah, nothing else in this pack is even close. That's a great pickup. All the other kids, they got their pumped up kicks. This card was so unimpressive when I played it because everything had three power and I was just like, well, I can't do anything. Whereas Gross Cycle probably gets played. 
I could see Blade Brand actually being decent as well. They're both going to kill a thing. Usually Growth Cycle is going to help your creature survive, though. Yeah, I want Growth Cycle because we have double Audacious Thief. So if the Audacious Thief can get through, uh, that's really where you want to be. That's where you want to be, man. All the other kids. They have their pumped up kicks. This song obviously in my head because we were talking about kicks. Talking about Nikes. Um, yeah, Corpse Knight seems fine. I could take a second plummet. Actually, let's just take the second plummet. I'm not... We have one way to splash this guy. And if we don't find another way, I'm probably not playing it. Publix had BOGO Craisins, so I picked up, like, 30 bags of Craisins. No, just kidding. I'll be waiting for you in the queue, and I'll be waiting for you in the parking lot. Oh, good. You can count, and you can count on me waiting for you in the parking lot. That's from Happy Gilmore. Oh, Blood Burglar is exactly what we wanted. Nailed it. Mm, take a duress, I guess. Actually, let's take the retributive wand. Hmm. 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 This guy's probably pretty good out of nowhere, right? I don't think we need another mammoth spider. Blightwood tracker is actually pretty good, though. Just putting creatures in your hand. Yeah, we'll take the Blightwood Tracker. We'll take a Vial of Dragonfire. Yeah, we're probably going to not play this guy. Which means we could have had a Disfigure, but I think... Uh, sometimes you got to risk it for a little biscuit. And we need one cut here. Hmm. Might be Greenwood Sentinel. Actually, it's probably Gift of Paradise. Yeah, we don't need Gift of Paradise here. If we, if, if we were playing Iron 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 Root Warlord, I could see it. But not today. What do we say to to Gift of Paradise? Not today. Yeah, this is this is the deck. Eight nine, perfect. Save it, save it and play it. So this vampire is just strictly better than the Sedge Scorpion. They're both one ones with Death Touch, except for the vampire has Life Link as well. It's always weird when you have two two cards that are this similar in the same set file. You're know, like, but they're like the exact same card, except you stuck a better ability on one. Here comes me and Runa Cape. I bet it is. I bet it is. No, it's a Hanson 11. One single Hanson. Well, that's not keepable. That is. And we can get rid of our six drop. I don't think it's like done. I'm like, it's still, I still, I still don't know why you, you ask me. There's nothing else I can do. Is Thrashing Broken the new Colossal Dread? Thrashing Broaden on, you mean? Maybe. I mean, because it's been in like 10 sets now. It, oh, here we go. Oh, no. They changed their mind. Oh, they are going to do something. Okay. I mean, this is fine. They want to trade. It's a one for one. I gained two life. I'm okay with it.
Ooh, that was a good draw. Because next turn, if we hit a Wolfkin Bond, we get a 2-2 and a 5-5. Five, five. Seems all right. Seems okay. Well, never mind. Although, you know, Pacifism gives us a good Bone Splitters target, so. Splint those bones. Hmm. Land. Well, that's that's okay. You got it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Land. Oh, that's interesting. So now we can actually attack with. Wow, you have the uncommon disfigure. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I mean, I don't really feel like having them double block here. This is a good long-term card. They can only attack for two anyway, so. Would you be upset if the new plane coming after him told me he's actually Ravnica and wants you to be strolling? Um, I don't think I'd be upset. I'd be like, well, that's kind of lazy, guys. Uh, I would wonder what they were doing. But, yeah, I don't think I'd be upset about it. I mean, everybody loves Ravnica, man. I have four cards in hand? Jeez. I guess that's what happens when you hit lands for days. Um, sure. I will block, because if you have a trick, deal. But I'm not going to block with Mammoth Spider, because then it dies. Sure. Still have four cards in their hand. I don't understand. Uh, yeah, this is fine trade if you want to trade here. Sure. I mean, I figured out that last time when I blocked with the two four, but. Still four cards. It's a lot of cards. I don't understand why they're why they're having so many cards in their hand. Yep, that's a good dude. Hmm. Kind of super awkward that they had Agonizing Siphon to finish off our guy. They had Disfigure to kill our guy. They had Raise the Alarm to block our guy. Like, yep. And then we're just going to have Mono Lands here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> yep, all right. That's pretty good. And this is pretty bad. All right, so this is a good. This is a good thing that's happening here. Five, six, seven. We can play the seven drop. We can literally play anything right now. Yep, that's a dude. Yep, okay. <laughs> Five, six, eight, nine. What are they? Five, six, seven, nine, nine. Yep. Nine to nine, we're two for one on Wolfkin Bond. Oh, Jesus. Yep, cool. Yep, that'll do. I don't need to see any more than that. <clears throat> I guess we should have played around Uncommon Disfigure when they had one black up. Maybe. Plummet seems great here. Uh, Wolfkin Bond seems fine. You take out Greenwood Sentinel, you're fairly unimpressive. Let's bring in both plummets. I think that's actually okay. I will keep the sand. <sighs> so Courser into Gravedigger is not bad. You know, I mean, presumably one of these guys will die. This is where they go. No, no raise the alarm. Okay. Gorging. Okay. Land in the graveyard. Plummet. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah. <clears throat> that's the that's the kind of two for one we're looking for in these games. That's what father likes. Buddy, I'm grave digging all over you. What are you tapped out? Okay. Oh yes. And it's only a three three, so it's still susceptible to any sort of three three on the board or an agonizing siphon, but uh Yep, blocks that thing. So now we're looking at a situation where if they go block here, they take three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, I want to assume they're going to raise the alarm here and then, nope, they did nothing. I'm not going to play around planar cleansing here. I'm just going to assume. That they don't have that. Pretty sure this is an alpha. I mean, they can only profitably kill one creature. They can go 2-3 on 2-2, 1-3 two, two, on 2-2. Two, two. Sure, so they take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They go to 2. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we are currently at 38. So this game is completely reverse of the last game. And we won. All right. Yeah, plummet's OP when you see three, uh, three flyers, four flyers, five flyers in the 
course of a couple games. I'd love to keep this hand, but I don't think it's good. I will keep this hand though. One, two, three, we can get rid of one of these. I think if we can survive until this, it's very, very good. He said, obviously. Oh, fashionable late to the party, I see. Oh, that's nice because now we can just easily roll. It always feels like games one and two are a squash match, and game three is complicated now. Yeah, we'll see if that's the case here, though. Well, ideally, next turn we draw like four drop, and then we draw land for Moldervine Reclamation. Wow. Tempted to just block here, but then they have three, three. Yeah, well, but I really don't. I guess we're just going to 10 here. Jesus. Totally reasonable opening. Oh, that was a good draw as far as draws go. Wow. <laughs> Yep, it's pretty good. Um, no, I'll take three here. So if we block here, we take five, we gain a life. We have nothing to put Wolfkin Bond on, so we're actually just gonna play this. Feels like we're a little far behind here, especially with the pro green creature. which will inevitably kill us, I imagine. Okay, well, if they're just attacking the fat guy, it's okay. That's annoying. So, can't block these. We go to four automatically. Oh, all right, that's good. One of these times, we're going to be able to play this. It's going to be great. I would have alpha there for sure. Puts me to two, man. Now we go block here, we take five, and yep, we are dead. Well, that was a fun bullshit game, I guess. Raise the alarm, raise the alarm into inspiring captain. Seems fantastic. Hi, Frank. Hi, Elk Tears. Dan's you here. <laughs> oh man, you crazy kids. Sorry, I was making tuna salad? Huh. Mixing up a little bit, huh? Usually Elk Tears is an egg salad man. Tuna salad. I hope that's not growing up. I don't want to. I don't want to devolve into tuna salad the older I get. Oh god, these hands are terrible. But I'm not gonna go to five here. Done. We're also on the draw, so 
Oh. Thank you. Anathema, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. What's the recipe? Uh, tuna? Come on, Dan. Let's get it together. God, Dan doesn't know anything about tuna salad. The color is green. All right, well. One point two cans of line caught solid white albacore. It's a good start. I mean, I used to like tuna when I was a kid. When I used to eat mayo, when I used to eat mayo, when I used to eat fish. But uh, Dijon, wow, you're a. Uh, Okay, well, that's a big dude. Give me a four drop that I can cast. Well, that's a guy. Curry, Parmesan and curry powder. Oh, you're looking... You're looking crazy. I actually thought this was a 1-3. I keep forgetting this is not a 1-3, and I would have attacked into it. There was a turn I should have attacked. I feel like you can literally just make this this tuna recipe and can you can't you just substitute tuna for eggs and just make an egg salad with mayo dijon parmesan curry powder celery dill garlic and rosemary Ugh, God. sure hey guys Lou's got grave digger target now yep these drafts are so weird man i feel like i'm getting blown out but i don't understand it like it's it's not the first time this has happened Where I'm just like, I don't understand. I guess they block here and sack this, but then they're still trading, right? We're still trading 3-4 for... Oh, no, they trade... Yeah, that's still fine. Yeah, because we're still getting rid of 3-4, so... And next we can go Gravedigger into Vampire. So, oh, Jesus. Yep, guess we're going to 4. You know, totally reasonable life total. Oh, I guess this is growing up. Now I have this is now I have damn it stuck in my head. I wish you were here earlier. Frank was really happy and destroying in magic. Now he's playing a format that is his worst enemy for some reason. God, you're right. Well, because, like, the odds of me creating a deck like we did earlier and doing really well with it, not only, A, does it take a long time, but, B, like, it's, um, like, a lot of times you're not going to have the same record. You're not going to have the same luck. Wow, this is... And maybe I'll see you at a movie... Sneak preview on the arm of Mike B. So we have to actually get Vampire. I would love to to, to swing. Oh, actually, maybe we didn't, but we're still going to do it anyway. We could have got Gravedigger back and then played Gravedigger into Vampire next turn, but, you know. What can you do? Um, so if we block here, we take five, six, seven, eight. I'll deal with. I'll go to four. I drunkenly try to explain the difference between limited and constructed to dance on the Fourth of July at the rooftop barbecue. Is very special. I can imagine. I can imagine. Parm doesn't sound good with tuna salad. Yeah, I haven't had tuna salad in years, but it's just it's just a weird addition. Oh wow, we can just so we can just go like kill this guy. Play Sedgy Boy. And we just have mono one one death touchers to hold down their to hold down their things. That's pretty good. Pulse for Vorse Claw. That seems good. Well, B 
because this guy is trampled, we just got to get it out of here. Yep, don't think we have an answer for Force Claw now. Actually, I mean, we three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So two for we two for one ourselves, but they lose a seven seven. On the arm of that guy. I mean, we have no cards. They have three cards, so. Yeah, it's not great. I don't know if I like dairy and fish together. Yeah, that's weird. It's like people who put cheese on their tuna. So I'm just like, no, don't do that. Oh, that's a good hit. That's not. All right, no, just. Whenever we stabilize, it's just draw mono, mono fucking lands for the next six turns, I guess, so. Good times. Pickles definitely don't ruin everything. Pickles are actually fantastic. They're a culinary treat. Let's see what kind of bomb they pick. <laughs> Jesus. Talk about being right. Well. 3 to 29 and they have a 7 drop. What could go wrong? I don't know why you didn't attack with this, but so we go block, block, we take four, and then we die. Yep, that's cool. I just want this big ass worst claw in here now. This Greenwood Sentinel is hot trash. This card sucks. It has not been good in ever in any match, and it's only in here because I wanted more two drops to round out the curve. But like, this is a format where like these creatures get outclassed really quickly. Is this a goalless format? I actually didn't think I didn't even think I knew that. Dan's, are you saying you don't like a, a big old slice of cheese on your tuna or on your on your sushi rolls? Have you never heard of cream cheese and lox on a bagel? I mean, I've heard of it, yeah, but I don't eat lox. I would just rather have a bagel with cream cheese. Sometimes I like to put a big old slice of cheddar cheese on my uh, on my sushi. Guys, you guys are talking to someone who doesn't even eat fish, so no matter what you guys say, I'm going to be like, nope, don't like that. Locks schmocks, am I right? You can take your locks and hit the bricks, buddy. All right, so here's the thing. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You only put a smidge of... We heard... <laughs> If you're not aware of it, then what's the point? I've always, I've I always never understood that when people are like, like I would eat something when I was a kid, and there would be like mushrooms in it, right? And my dad would be like, you can't even taste the mushrooms. And I'm like, then why do you put them in there? Well, I think what is that even? That doesn't even make any sense, right? Like, you're either lying, or you know, you're actually making a silly choice when it comes to cooking. All right, so here's the. Thing. <laughs> oh god tuna cottage cheese strawberry milkshake no but that sounds fantastic dude I mean just kidding that sounds actual terrible JK uh, I actually the um the uh the tuna cottage cheese strawberry milkshake sounds 
It would it would it'd probably be really good if you just sprinkled some parm on top. I think that would probably that would probably push it push it over the top for me. Oh yes. Vegetables are kind of icky. What in the earth? Oh dear lord. I think you use when you when you have the uh the tuna cottage cheese strawberry milkshake, I'm pretty sure the jalapenos are the garnish, right? <laughs> it's me, Funger Mike B. Oh god. You'd think that, wouldn't you? You'd think that. Give me a pump spell. Nope, six, six mana card. Yep, that's pretty sad. I guess we want to hit a land here, so we're actually just going to suicide this guy. And if we hit a land, we can actually take out the thrashing Bronte. Well, nope, we didn't hit a land. You got a block. I guess we don't have to cast this now, but... Ugh, that was the first draw. You ain't kidding, buddy. This format is cruel to me. I don't understand it. I mean, I, I always want to assume that it's human error, right? I want to assume that I'm doing something wrong and there's something I can do to fix it. But I don't know what it is yet. I look at all the cards that I have in our deck and I, they feel good. Like, I think our hand is full of good cards. I think there's just too many either big green idiots or flyers in this format and, like, not a ton of ways to deal with them. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, man. Yeah, that guy's fine. Ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, Vorse Clash would 100% be in my deck against the opposing green deck. Uh, we're not playing against a pacifism deck. We're playing against a green deck. Wow, still no land, huh? Okay. Audacious Thief it is. No, we didn't board him in, but like, there's, very, there's not a ton of answers to this guy at common. There's Murder and there's... Uh, and there's pacifism, right? And, like, Disfigure doesn't do it. The red reduced to Ash doesn't do it. A combat trick will often not make a difference. Claustrophobic sleep paralysis, right? Well, we're definitely blocking with Vampire of the Dire Moon. Oh, I guess we could have blocked with Sedge. They, just both have, they both have Death Touch. Hey, a fourth land. What do you know? Yeah, but the problem is you can't just have a black green deck full of two twos and three threes. Like you just can't do it. What is your what is your win condition? So I don't understand. Like, hmm. Howling Giants a good win con, sure. But, like, the 2-2 two -two Wolves are mostly irrelevant, and the 5-5 five -five is not completely uh, 
unmanageable. <sighs> Let's get rid of you. I mean, they're just literally getting this guy off the board because they have Vorse Claw or... Uh... Yeah. 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 So this guy becomes a 4-3, and now I'm regretting not killing this, but at the time, Centaur Courser was better, and also this was the only... The, the Elemental was the only card that actually made it difference on Overgrow Elemental, so... Have you ever shoplifted in your life? Yes. Yes, I have. When I was in between probably 18 and 23, I would say, like, I did a... I actually did a good amount of shoplifting. I was very against... Uh, but only from, like, major corporations. I was really, like, anti-establishment, like... I shouldn't have to pay for your profit margins kind of bullshit, like... Uh, I look back now and, like, you know, obviously, uh, no, just double force claw, like you do. Well, I think we're actually in okay shape here. Like, if they want to trade, we get to draw a card. There's a corporation. There's a corporation. Easy trade. That owns a grocery store shop and it bothers me and I don't feel bad about shopping there sometimes. I won't name names. I was never given a name. You gotta counter this? You got bone to ash? It rhymes with Glamazon, wow. Oh, Lord. The problem was, when I was younger, I felt entitled. I felt like, hey, you don't have any right to charge me this much for this book. It probably costs you pennies to make it. So I had a real problem with, like, um, you know, things like that. Oh, God. Now, this, is, this is where you have the convolute? Sure, dude. Ooh, exhausting. I mean, I'd rather that than Bone Dash, I guess, but still. This is, the like, the best card in our deck. We've already used Pulse, now they're going to tap down our guy. Yep. All right. Hey, all right. Convolute. Octo Prophet. This is draft. Dark Dino Master. Wow. All right. That's the thing, I guess. I guess we're gonna take five again here. Not don't just don't 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 draw land here. Okay. Yikes. Well, we go to one. And probably dead. So, yep, that'll, that'll be the end of the game. That'll be the end of the game. Oh, I guess we could actually kill this and see what we hit, but yeah, that's going to be worse. I mean, if we blocked here and traded this guy, we would have taken three instead of five, so we'd be at three. This guy would be dead, and we would have one extra card. So we would have this, this, Octo Prophet on board. Being at three doesn't really do much. I guess you go to four because of this guy dying. It's just, it's just kind of infuriating. Like, I 
I have no cards in hand. I don't know why I'm not just turning everything sideways. They're all lethal. You have three creatures. I have two. Let's just get it over with. Just end my fucking misery. Why even bother? I have no cards. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Cool. All right. O O2. Might as well finish it off, I guess. The Ziggs. Thank you so much for the, for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's see if we can win the last round for literal zero prizes, because that's that's logical. That's a that's a fine way to incentivize players to play their last round. When you're still in like a pre-release period for a for a set. Wow. This is where Runicape crushes us again. I think we beat Runicape last time. I don't know, man. It's hard to keep track of all my losses in this stupid format. I'm really, I'm really over it. Like, I was having more fun drafting Modern Horizons. And, like, I think Standard's actually kind of okay right now. Up until the point where people realize, like, hey, I can still just play... Um... I can still just play Esper the whole time. And all these other new fun decks are uh, not really as consistent or good. Well, already on the Mr. Land Drop train. I'm going to hit OK. Go to the main phase. Okay. I think Grixis ran. You keep saying this, but show me a shell, man. Show me a deck. Still no third land. Still no fourth land. Okay. Always a pleasure, Magic Online. Draw two extra cards. No fourth land. Eh, good times. Yep, still no, still no fourth land. Okay, I mean we're winning, so it's hard to complain. But still, I feel like drawing a fourth land by the first fifteen cards in your deck should really not be a. It's not really a hard ask. I guess we'll just play this and Bronte. Emily Bronte. Is that what you play in standard mode? I wouldn't. Per I personally wouldn't play that because I don't. I never play like the best deck in the format, and um, I don't have any enjoyment either of playing the best deck in the format over and over and over, or uh, playing the mirror match over and over. But I think it is the best deck in the format, if that's what you're asking. <sighs> Green one Sentinel, you're horseshit. People all over the world join hands, join a long train, long train. That's like shoplifting from Watsi. I told him, uh, I told, I told him not to concede because I'll just scoop to him. 
Uh, because if he goes, if he's one one after this, and then he wins the last round, and he gets packs where I get nothing. Because I'll I'll be I'll be one two, so there's no real point. So. Dang it. I will keep. See, this hand's great. So many blurglers. I'm still working out the kinks in the deck, trying to figure out if it's more of a Blood for Bones deck or a Bond of Revival deck. Really means, am I going to play Secret Squire and Tomebound Lich, or am I just going to play more discard spells like Charter Course? I also think Rotting Registrar could be good in the deck. Registrar seems great. I think Ultimate Haste Reanimation on the 7 so I just, uh, yeah. Yep, that's a 3-3. Joel, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, Mick Welcomes. Uh, I think ultimately haste reanimation on the 7-7 seven, seven dragon that deals 10 damage to things is better in the Planeswalker dominated format. Yeah, that, that dragon seems great, actually. The 7 mana deals 4 and 3 and 3. That is unfortunate. Have you ever been to Australia? No. No, I have not. Wow. Well, we had a good run. LVD? Who's LVD? Oh, and this guy just gets bigger. I think we're just having to kill this because it's just, it's just bad for business. A 3-3 three, three that's just a 3-3 three, three is fine. I guess they can pump it, but like they don't have enough elementals. Hmm. Now it's a now it's a five five. Who's LVD? LVD. Philip, I don't know who that is. <laughs> it's Louis Vaught Dargis. Everybody knows Louis Vaught Dargis. How did the white deck go? Uh, we went 3 2, but it was very, very close. Uh, this guy gets plus 2, plus 2, huh? Oh, it's only to cast an elemental spell? Oh, yeah. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Yeah! Nailed it. I still, I mean, we're 15 to 20. I still don't feel comfortable just getting in there, but. Oh, that's aggressive. Oh, Legend VD. Okay, see, that's see, that's all you got to say. He's a colleague of yours. Is he? Is he? Show me the Carfax. The Louis Scott Carfax. Oh, Lord, I can't. I just can't. Uh, 
I beat Killed yesterday twice, and today I'm 1-6. Oh, God, I know the feeling, man. I know the feeling. This format's pretty unforgiving. Okay, there's a lot of elemental boys. Well, those elemental boys are at it again. We're just going to pass here. I don't feel like Gravedigger is really what we want to do. We get back a Blood Burglar or a Centaur Courser. Another Overgrown Elemental. Boy. Boy, oh boy. Huh? Well, I'll be. Thief it is. Pass. These are exciting turns. This also implies that I might win, right? Like, he could just, they could just win the game. And then we don't actually, uh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Yikes. So now they can attack with this. We could double block and they can just kill the other one. Sure. Double this guy. Super Fritz, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Yeah, that's pretty good. Runa Cape in the chat was like, I've had good luck with this, and now now you're just gonna just gonna windmill slam it on us? Um I think trading our 3-4 for the 5-4 is fine. Can I get a land? Just a 7th land, please. One time. Nope. Uh, except that. That's acceptable. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I don't know where we're getting, but it feels all right. Yeah, Mike won. He gave two nugs to Hunter, but he won the other... Uh, he, he ate the other 48 nugs, I guess, that we're getting at here. So they could block here. I think we're just going to attack with both of these guys. Thank you. Playbush, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate you. You guys are great. No? What would you like to do? Ooh, wee, ooh. Killer tofu. 
That's a solid jam. If you guys don't know the beats, well, you should. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. They're going to kill the Vorinclex, which is the Vorse Claw, rather, not the Vorinclex. The other VOR uh, green creature. Um, we're playing on MTGO not because of the arena's new patch, but just because I have packs on here and it was already open. So that's how you do it. Blight Beetle. Biscuits. Well, that's pretty good. But if the performance is abysmal on arena. Two damage to a wolf. That's sad. Well, pro green is pretty frustrating. Thank you. Ultimix Joe, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Um, so we have eight mana. I don't think we want to Vorn collects back. Yeah, none of these cards are super impressive. I think we just want to save it for the Howling Giant, but unfortunately... I mean, I'm pretty sure they'll fix it. I, I, I can't imagine they're going to let Magic's flagship, uh, flagship client remain buggy for any extent of time that's more than one week. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. All right, let's get Howling Giganto back. All right, well, we're living the dream here. Are we are we having a are we having a Doug Funny in the Beats flashback here? I believe in you, Dan. You are awesome, buddy. I really appreciate you. <laughs> What is this? What's happening right now? 7,000 mana? Jesus. It's not looking good for our hero, guys. One, two. I want to keep this guy around for the beetle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is. I mean, it's not ideal, but like. Howling Giant's already given us a good amount of value, so. Yep. Let's get that. Let's hit that Chandra. If they want to trade here or trade with either of these, I'm fine with it. 
They might just let Chandra go because I think she's outlived her usefulness. This is so many, so many wolves. Oh, really? All right, well. <laughs> Here we go. I guess we're drawing seven cards. Maybe. Okay, sure. Here it comes. Oh boy, this is a hot mess. Uh, I have not seen the new season of Stranger Things. It's only been out for like four days, right, guys? Okay, well, we can Bone Splinter as the Dragon Mage now. How is it even a Dragon Mage? So it's a, How is a dragon a wizard? Come on. Oh, alright. What did they get rid of? Our Gravedigger. All right. Soul Salvage, getting back. Vorse Claw and Meteor Golem. Yikes. That's a yikes for me. All right. <sighs> wow. Six, seven, nine, ten. We have 11 mana. Five. Uh, So we're going to kill this, we're going to block here, and then we can still play Vorse Claw next turn against their Vorse Claw. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They have 7 lands in their deck between these 15 cards. Hmm. Reduce Dash instead. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think we're dead here. We're taking one, we're going to six. Oh god. Oh, we go to five, we're gonna we go to two and we're dead on board. Yep, that's something. And they still have Meteor Golem to kill our Vorse Claw. I have no idea how this format works, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Six. Um Well. I guess we're getting back four, eight, nine. Yes, yeah, so we can't do everything, we'll just get back Howling Giant. Okay, well, go to eight. I'm not dead yet. Would you be if a fan of a future set return to Kamigawa? If it was better than the previous Kamigawa, then yes. I don't think Kamigawa is a bad plane. I think the mechanics that sur that surround Kamigawa are bad, like spirits, soul shift, like all the kind of there's a bunch of weird mechanics. Um that aren't necessarily super fun, but I think the lore and the um, the story of Kamigawa is fine. I don't think that's like a real... Okay. So what is it? 7, 6, 13, 14, 15. So there are two lands in the next nine cards. However, I don't know how we're dealing with this guy. We, this guy can't get past here, so they can just kill us in four turns. Yes. Was well, just one of those sets to be under. I don't think it was underpowered. Kamigawa was really powerful. It had Umazawa's Jite, Kokusho, Kaiga, Greater Good. I believe it had Greater Good. Now, Greater Good is just legal in the format, I believe. Yep, that guy's gone. This should be. Yeah, this should be legal. It's close enough. This guy is trample, so we block with these two. We block this guy with one. Mm hmm.
not ideal. Ugh. I guess we'll keep a wolf alive. That doesn't do anything. Yeah, Kiki Jiki. What is even happening? How are we still alive? I mean, we don't have any way to gain more life, so we're pretty much stuck on... We're just dead to this sorcerer of... Of the fang. I bet they... Did, they think, did he think this was unblockable? <laughs> He's like, oh, this guy's unblockable. I got black creatures for days, my friend. Black creature... I mean, it doesn't matter. We just... We're literally dead right now, so... Oh three, my dudes. Oh three, that was good times. Good times, but it was not good. Oh, actually, we, we got to get another game. We, I, I thought we were done. Wow. The, uh, yeah. I mean, I think emotionally I'm done. I think emotionally I've checked. I feel like the games I've lost are not anywhere near close. Like my problem with core set formats. As, uh, as opposed to like either even the new Ravnica sets and um, like cube and stuff is that you're basically dead 10 turns in advance and you just can't really do anything about it like you can you can kind of see the writing on the wall from a little ways away like sure you can draw like if they have a six six you can draw a removal spell for it but like I mean you're kind of limited sometimes like sometimes your deck just doesn't have an answer to a six six and like it's not your fault you didn't get a murder or a bone splinters or something you know so but whatever i don't know i'm trying to figure out this format and uh it's not going entirely well but maybe it's just not going to maybe it's just not going to go well Okay. Yep. Land. Oh boy. Well, we can Wolfkin bond, but I think we're actually just gonna play a Moldervine Reclamation here, just to get it down. This is such an un. Like, why do we, why do we have protection back? Like, I don't understand. Like, this is really like a missing mechanic. They're like, hey, we should really bring protection back. It does not feel like it. Even this on here, it's like five, six. Still doesn't deal with the divorced claw there is. I mean, we're gonna just grave dig here, get this guy back, and then next turn we have pulse. We now have a blocker for the blight beetle, which you know for all the good that does. Yep. Yep, that dude's huge. Well, we're not going to exile our grave digger. The nice thing about Pulse getting back Gravedigger is that it's basically free. Yep. No blocks.
Well, seven mana. Wolf can bond on here doesn't do that much. I don't really want to excel the thief here, but it might just be better to get the five power on board. I think it's actually necessary. I mean, ideally this just buries them in card advantage. Ideally, we said. All right. Got a play around them. It's like nine, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we just block with everything here. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, because like, if they have plus two, plus two, I don't really want to get blown out and then just have them with it, let them keep their seven, seven. That seems rough. Yep, that's what we were playing around. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we do get to keep it. We get to draw four cards. Gain four. Yep. All right, well. So we have eight mana, so we can play a four drop and a vampire. It's not terrible. They have one card, our hand is full. I kind of like saving the Gravedigger until we have uh, the 5-5 five five that makes two 2-2s. Two well, Bone Splitters or Wolfkin Bond. Maybe we do want a second one of these. Maybe like when you have two of these, it's just nuts. So yikes for me, dog. And then they can Chandra kill this, and then they have, like... Yikes. Alright, well... Hey, a little Sedgy. Little Sedgy. So, if we want to keep this up, we have 9 mana, we'd have 7 to work with, we have 4 5, so we can get a 2 drop back and still play that. Could also just get Boneclad Necromancer back. That actually seems good. Especially because if we can get the Vorse Claw out of there, they have. We've seen uh, Soul Salvage. Alright, let's get rid of Vorse Claw. Alright, that seems good. Get in there. No plus two, plus two is going to get me twice. I guess they can kill the two, two, twos now. Ooh, that's worse. But then we draw two? I guess that's not actually worse. All right. Ooh, ooh, are they one shy? No, they had one floating. Eh, draw another card, sure. And pass. I mean, it'd be funny if we have, like, we have this draw engine online, but we just don't have enough creatures to break through. Being able to crack through here for four is pretty nice but they can always block and then kill our guy 
Well, I guess we draw a card at the very least. Sure, fair trade. Is the enchantment legendary? No. Just a regular uncommon enchantment. Do we play a land this turn? We did. I guess we'll just play Vorse Claw. I feel like being able to commit a Vorse Claw to the board this turn is better than uh, not being able to play anything next turn, or uh, not being able to play anything this turn and just waiting till next turn, so. The stupid Beetle Man. Oh, God. We also have nine cards in our deck, so. 12, 13, 14, 15. There are two lands in our deck. That is the worst claw I've ever seen. Of course, like, we, they can just block and shoot, like. Ugh, God. This is so bad. Oh, Lord. This is why the flyer decks win in this format, because there's no way to, like... You could be totally blanked by one Blight Beetle. Dragon Mage. Ready? Meteor Golem. Also very good. So long, Moldervine Reclam... Oh, Vorse Claw. Interesting. Beetle Man, take me by the hand, leave me... Yeah, well, that guy's leading me to the land, all right. Whatever that means. Hey, it's your boy. I have five cards in our deck. Like, this isn't even a May ability, so, like, we could actually just kill ourselves. They could literally block four things that kill four of our things, and then we just die. So. Literally, as I predicted, we just draw too many cards and don't have a way to literally break through for 19 damage, so. Yep, that's 14. That is all the lands in our deck. Mono spells from here on out. So they go block the biggest thing. 7, 5, 2, 2. They take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They go to 12. Uh, presumably... Yeah. Also, when this triggers, <laughs> we just die instantly. Oh, God. Good times. But it was not good times. It was bad times. <sighs> yeah, 03 in this deck. Not not ideal. If you guys are watching on YouTube, I do apologize for the, uh, the roller coaster of emotions we've been going on through these core 2020 drafts. I just have no idea uh, how to navigate this format yet, apparently. I'm just taking cards that seem good in a normal draft deck and like then they end up not doing anything, which is really weird. I'm okay with this. Can we break through now? All right, here we go. So they go kill, they go block a 2 2, block a 2 2, block a 2 2, right? And then we just end up dying. Or block a, yep, yeah, block this guy. But if you're watching on Twitch, just deal with it, losers. Um, draw a card, draw a card, draw a card, we die. We have to save one of these duders. Feels like it would be the wisest choice to save this guy. And they have 
something in response. Just a little pumperino. Okay. Oh, I guess we could have played that. I think we're still fine here. We just have to... Oh, actually, if any creature dies... Well, I guess we get to... <laughs> oh, Lord. Good times. Thanks a lot, Moldervine Reclamation. Thanks a lot. And uh, an exquisite O3. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Please check me out on manatraders.com. Please, if you guys have Twitch subs, definitely check out uh, my Twitch profile and just subscribe. It's free. It costs you nothing if you guys have extra Twitch Prime subs that you're not using. Uh, you can also just head over to Twitch and subscribe normally because it's a great way to support the content. Slam those like and subscribe buttons on YouTube. Check me out at coolstuffinc.com. I have new articles up every Wednesday, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it.